Hey you, I'm Fu, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Let's get started, shall we? So, first things first, we've got our Pirate Merchant. So this is our last saviour for Ed. At this time, I believe. So let's just double check, we need our best social light. Uh, I'm clicking the wrong, wrong ones. Uh, the wrong menus. 2, 6, 8, and uh, looks like we've got 2, 8, which is actually Jabair. Has Jabair been patched up? He has, but he also has malnutrition. Wonder. Okay, Jabair, can we get you to... Whereabouts are you? You're still on bed. Just go and consume a simple meal. That's the easiest thing. So there, the caravan is going to be staying around for a couple of days, so let Jabair eat before we send him out there. And, well, that should at least fix his hunger, which it has. So let's chat to these guys. Now, oh, here we go. Just couldn't spot the person that we needed to chat to, so that's the, that's the person. And let's see what they can they have to offer us. Well, first things first, we want to get rid of our boom loop. We have no need for it around. And then Luciferium. Well, we can only sell our Luciferium. I'm, yeah, lost on what we can do. I believe it would probably be a trading merchant of some sort. But it looks like Ed will snap. Damn. That is a real shame. I kind of wish there was something else we could do about it, but I looked at things we can't. So I'll be back in a second once I toggle a few numbers. Okay, it looks like we're done here. So it's just, I haven't done too much more. I've noticed we've got a bit of gold down here, so we're certainly going to buy a few. they have only got 29, but it is enough, <coughs> excuse me, to finish building our multi-analyzer. So we'll do that, and Jabir, before you leave, can you grab the gold? And you should be able to do something awesome with it. I believe it is 20 gold from memory. Uh, yep, 20 gold, and we've already got the plus still. So we'll, we will finally be able to build the multi-analyzer. Huzzah! But it is a bit of a shame that the pirate merchants don't have it, so where does it come from? I'm very sure that pirate merchants are the ones that would sell it. It seems like something shady that pirate merchants of all people would actually do. So, oh, and you're building it. Excellent. So... Hello, what was that sound? Something went boom. Don't like that. Okay. Not under raid, I'm not under attack, am I? Last time I checked, new. Oh, wait, I am. Um, hmm. Okay. We we need to do something about this. So these guys will stay here, from what I've read up, until they finish all their meals. And they'll keep getting airdrops of, of artillery shells and so on. Hey, that's actually a thought. Just realised, we actually have one of these nicked. So can we get someone to man it then? I'm really curious to see if this would work. Never considered it. Oh, and you're hungry and jealous and a lot of jazz. Decker. Teshi Decker. Uh, let's see, you've got a shooting of 13. I believe you are the best person. You are. Nope. We've also got Y. Y is the same skill as you. Uh, 13 and a 13. Yeah, okay, I'm going to grab you and we're going to get you to man the mortar and we're going to see if we can get a few hits off at you. I don't know where they've hit us. The looks of... By the looks of it, none of the walls are broken. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Why can you quickly get down there? Oh. <laughs> You're taking out the traders. Awesome. So we can actually get these rifles on. Pity they haven't dropped anything like... Uh, oh, anything useful. And you're aiming. Oh, can we set the force target to be... All the way in the corner. I think, yeah, there we are. Hitting that turret will be the best thing. So, how does this work? Shell loaded. You're aiming. Oh, there we are. Why has found no nearby unreserved shells or steel mortar? And you missed as well. Oh, that's the... <laughs> that's all the shells. That's actually kind of annoying. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. What's going on? Did they knock out a power conduit? I think they knocked down a power conduit. Makes sense. Uh, power conduit, which is... Oops. Yep. Uh, it looks like we haven't full, uh, finished running this cable all the way around anyhow, so... That said, let's run the cable up. 
and around and across and then connect it back up to the rest of the network. Um, just for the sake of, I'm just going to do a few extra cables because most likely they will break it once again. Um, so pull the cable across there, that should be fine. Oops, don't want to pull that one. It's on its own network. Anything else? I think that'll be fine. So someone will just need to get around to doing it. Yeah, and now all the auto doors aren't exactly auto anymore and you are now destroying the walls. Okay, we need to get someone else back out there. Incendiary, that didn't really work out too well last time. Jaber, Jaber and Y, the two people we need to do grab right now. They are, well, wise stones, but your mood is perfectly fine. And Jaber, let's take a look at you, shall we? Your mood is also fine. And yep, you you are gonna you two are gonna be great. So I'm gonna recruit you two. You're going to come. Where are you gonna come? Wonder if we can try and ambush them from the top this time. So we'll get them to sit up here. I know that is most likely gonna be too far away. But we'll basically start edging them closer and closer, but just I'm just keeping it at this distance just so they don't have any stupid little attacks the same way that we lost rain last time that was very kind of annoying because that was very cheaty in the way that uh, she died oh and you are attacking them Jubair could you move up I believe that would be close enough to get you in range possibly a bit of gorilla fighting right now just all in the trees yeah there is not a lot of cover here for you yep awesome I want you to attack Sammy of all people. Yep, that's going to be interesting. And why you can move up to? Oh, I want you to sort of strafe you a little bit. I don't think Jaber is faster than Y, so it would be worth putting Jaber up here. But maybe if I just put her around here, we might be able to take a few shots. Slow it down as well, just for the time being, to see how Jaber is hitting the guy. Which doesn't seem to be the case. Can fire in 19 seconds. So keep on hitting Sammy if you can. Come on, Jabo. Oh, that's right. You're even missing an arm right now, aren't you? Yeah, torn. Oh. When did you lose your eye? Well, that's um, new to me. You've lost your eye. You've... Okay, you're not missing your left arm. Hmm. Tashi's the one. Tashi is the bionic man. Jabo isn't, though. Whoops. I'm getting myself confused today. That's not good. Be disastrous if I keep making this mistake. But now keep on firing. And how is Y? Y is still getting there. Oop, and we got a mental break, which is Ed. Uh, I'm going to make the assumption that Ed, Ed's need for Luciferium is getting down. It's now below 40%. Oh, below 50 Okay, so this is below 50, we just need to hold out for a little longer, so when it gets down to zero, maybe we'll let him break one or two times. Um, and watch the need, because he has a Luciferium need. I believe last time we gave Luciferium when he had it was at a 40%, and the first time we gave him at a 50% need. Let's see if we can bring that up a little bit higher to say 70%, 70 just to prolong it and give us a few extra days to work with, at most. And why could you continue? And the steel mortar is just about destroyed as well. It's interesting. Oh, and you couldn't hit him either. Well, how about this? Just keep firing on the steel mortar. The easiest thing we can do is just get rid of them. And why is walking very slowly? Oh, whoops. Um, stop running away, guys. Whoops, need you over here. What is up with why? You're moving is at 57%. Really? It's getting stoned really that that bad and just out of curiosity it's still high hopefully they don't go attacking you I don't know where their intention is you're just moving in general yet yeah, you guys are in a bit of trouble actually Jabez since you move can move faster oops recruit and just place you there for the time being just so we can get Y out of the way provide a bit of cover um, keep them going uh, we need to get these guys away from us. How are we going to do this? So why? Your goal will be to get down here. To be able to provide some cover. Oh, it's getting close. This is very bad. You're standing right in the open and you're taking forever to shoot. 
Okay, now Jabir, your turn to run away. Oh, but you did take a shotgun to the back. With the pump shotgun to the torso, that's taking a very large chunk right out of you. Let's grab a few other people. I think we should have done this a little earlier. So, it'll be Fu, we'll do Tashi, Wise already there, Bertha can't fight, Ez is the only one, and Ed can't fight, so we're going to recruit these guys. Hopefully we can bring them... Let's see, where are these people going? Mm, maybe we'll just bring them over to these rocks, and then we'll see what we can do. And Tashi, you're down there, what have you got? You've got the incendiary launcher. This doesn't look good. But, no, why, actually? I'm going to get you to stand not on the embankment, but just one block away. And then your turn to provide cover to, to Jabir. See how that goes, as long as you don't shoot him in the back. Wow, this lasts quite a long time. Hopefully we can do something about it. Um, and Annabelle's coming down there. Tash, you've got the incendiary launcher, you're not in range. Fu and Airs, you're still coming. Okay, it looks like we'll have to give him a second. Rose is contains a pump shotgun. Now we are behind the fence. Phew. That was easy. Okay, well, we unrecruit those two and forbid the bodies. And unforbid this one. Anything else? It looks like also a lot of wood and components. Oh, it's a few bodies. Awesome. And let's see if we can reinstall this still water as well after we claim it. So reinstall this mortar, say, we'll put, put, put one down here, it already contains a shell, which makes our life a little easier. And look at that, we didn't even have to build it. A little bit cheaty, but still, it worked. And speed things back up to three, because people should be fleeing now. Yep, Annabelle is fleeing, and Y and Jabir are... <laughs> y is still stoned, and Jabir has been shot in the back with a shotgun. And blood loss, yep, that's all fine. But no, Tashi, you need to get a bionic arm. So where's Fu, by the way? Just get Fu. Fu? Fu? Oh, you guys are still recruited, oops. Huh, I thought they'd had a symbol next to them. Um, a fighting symbol when they were actually recruited, but maybe I'm mistaken there. Oh well. It's not the end of the world, but we do need to get the power cable back up so people need to get jobs done. But I'm going to make the assumption that it is night time. So I guess we'll do some... I will guess we can get these guys going in the morning. Well, during the night, the trading caravan left, and since morning is just here, at 6 o'clock, Jabir has got an infection, which kind of sucks, and Fu's only just tending to Jabir right now. It's only minor, and it is retreated. There we go. So we treated it within the first... Well, uh, is there a number to it? No, it's just this minor. So we've treated it very early on, which is nice to see. And we do we have the medicine for it? We don't have the medicine for it. Oh. Well, that's a shame. I'm checking how far our crops are going along. So these are already at 90%. You could probably harvest some of them at this point in time. Will we? Uh, possibly. I don't know. We'll just give it a little bit longer and see what happens. But since we did treat him uh, pretty early on, he should be fine. And here we are, the multi-analyzer. It's been done. So that should be connecting up to the steel high-tech research bench. And should allow us to finish off the last set of research once we've done the correct prerequisites. Which I would have to check. But one thing we could do is do medicin, medicin, medicine production. Because it means we could actually make, I believe it's an improved medicine instead of herbal medicine. Does it require neutral mine, which we don't have any of from memory? Huh. Well, maybe something else. What else could we do? Well, we can't do shipbuilding with this because it requires a multi analyzer with power. Be nice if you could still click it. Uh, maybe because it hasn't been activated yet. Maybe that's the big thing. And now we've got the power. How's the research going? Yep, we can access the last things. Component assembly might have been nice, but yeah, I don't think we need that anymore. Multi barrel weapons, where well, we haven't produced our own weapons. Geothermal power, vitals monitor is definitely one thing I would like to do. So that's what we're going to research. And base cost is fine because we have a high tech level. Excellent. So that's the next thing that Fu will be out of research. Uh, let's see. Just double checking your character. You have dropped a little bit because I believe you are an 18 or a 19. 
but that's fine. Um, Jubair, you are still in bed, minor infection. Okay, Tashi, it will be your turn. Well, I guess we'll just have to leave it and uh, to get you to hop into one of these beds. So how about if we go... Oh, wait a second, I don't want to do that. This is Bertha's bed, from memory, and this will be Ayers. Set this one as a medical bed and go and operate on Tashi. So we need to install a bionic right arm. Make sure it's a right arm instead of a left arm. Um, yep, so this is right shoulder. Right arm, right shoulder, yep. This should be interesting and hopefully, so Tashi, can you go straight to bed? And hopefully Rafu will be the one working on Tashi. Wherever Tashi is right now. Tashi! Um, can't see where you are. Okay, you're getting into bed. Excellent. And then hopefully Fu will be the one to get onto. Prioritize operating on Tashi Fu. Because Fu, of course, is our best doctor in this colony. Fu, 10 skill versus 7 skill. It's actually not too different. Don't fail on Tashi. I don't want a catastrophic failure when you're installing his arm. Um, but hey, we actually do have medicine. That's interesting. We have 61 medicine. I lie. I can't see my numbers very well. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Does mean that Tashi did get actually treated with proper medicine, which should help. His immunity is at 21% and mine. I think we're going to pull through. No problems. But Tashi is now under the operation. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. And looks like we made it fine. Now he has a bionic arm. Mo moving and manipulation have been incredibly enhanced. 120%. It's not bad. And we could probably put it further by um, giving him more bionic parts. He is becoming our six million dollar man. Or at least two hundred thousand, no, two thousand or three thousand dollar man. With all of the parts installed right now. <laughs> uh, that's something. So, checking the temperatures of everything, we look fine, and it is negative inside. We haven't. None of these bodies have rotten. Nope. Awesome. Some just has to get around to chopping them up. But we have another three bodies that we can actually strip, which is really good to see. So these bodies are going to be stripped right now. Major breaking risk. Who? Who? What's going on? Rain died. Yep. Feeling terrible. Fair enough. Well, go and smoke some weed. <laughs> It's not, it's not something I'd say every day, but you are going to clean some dirt. Well, how about smoke? And that will help improve your mood. Let's see. We stoned in a second. Yep, hi, and that's a positive mood. Awesome. I just realised why people aren't butchering any of the bodies. Because I haven't set the bill back up. The bill for butchering creatures. Do forever. Like so. And, yeah, because we removed the one down here. For... On purpose, so there we go. That should be fine. This is how we'll get around to doing that since it's a cooking meal. Do we still have two cooks? We do have two. We still do. We yeah. We do still have two cooks, so that's not too bad. And there we go. All the dogs. I think we're missing a dog. Yep, Nutty's just coming back right now. Oh, well, looks like it's on to another night. Tashi was a bit of an early bird this morning. He got up at 3 o'clock and he's already been planting. Which is nice to see. Oh, we got an inf infestation. Right. Where? Jump location. Oh, well, that's not really an issue, honestly. I could probably just wall these guys in. That was just a um, trial mine. Huh. Well, that's something. Uh, just double check that our home zone doesn't include it. Oh, it sort of does, but you've just walked around. Why? Uh huh. Maybe it might be worth to get rid of you after all. Let's double see. You've got unrestricted food. Everyone's in the home zone. I guess I could unrestrict everyone, but I'm actually going to keep everyone in the home zone and then remove this one bit outside. Oops, that's the wrong menu. Clear home zone. Just this area. Just so they don't walk outside or walk in this general vicinity, I certainly do not want to encourage these guys to attack our colonists. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I want to... Um, better say resume, that's not the word. Anything else I want to clear? But the looks of it, no. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it like that. And I did just rest uh, keep restricting food. Yep, we did. Okay, let's patch up this wall as well because that was damaged in the attack, even with sandstone, which you only have 25 blocks of. So let's use limestone, which I don't think is really much better. But anyhow, let's see. It's a multicolored wall. Bertha's got food poisoning. Of course you have, Bertha. Oh, oh well. So someone should get around to building those walls, just as I was saying it. And I think we actually have a cave here. Let's mine out this block. Why? You can do that in just a second. Or Ed. Ed, you're doing the mining. Awesome. But there is a small cave here. Huzzah! <laughs> it was one block wide. New area has been revealed. Well done. Okie dokie. And let's say you guys are doing a bit of mining for me. That's fine. But I will have to get some people to start shooting these guys. So it'll be interesting. Also, let's double check the restrictions on our animals. Uh, there is a bond with Bertha. Why Bertha? Oh, because we parented you as... Okay, so Bertha, Bertha and Bertha, since, like I said before, Bertha cannot fight. So it's easier just to leave her with someone who isn't fighting. But it's interesting that you can still form a bond. Bond with Bertha versus... Okay, it's... It's interesting to see. Anyhow, let's see if we can deal with these guys now. Or at least get a few pot shots off at them. So I think what would be best is if I get people to probably come around to here. Get a feeling that they will end up walking up to this area. Maybe if I forbid... Yeah, we'll forbid the door. Uh, which one is that? That's this one. So we'll just forbid these two doors. Then they'll have to walk around when they go up here. So Tashi... Fu, wait, Tutatashi is fine now. You are. Jubair has a major infection. You are at 93% immunity. I'll leave you in bed. Tashi, Fu, not Bertha, Y, and Ayers, not Ed. There we go. Recruit you guys. You come over here and we'll see how you go. This should be interesting. Very interesting. Severe, Ill severe illness. Well, that is Jubair. Extreme. You're at 97. I'm sure you make it through. You've already had your treatment, so we just have to wait out. Now, if the dice play in our well, the dice don't play in our, play in our favour. I'd be awfully annoyed. And there you are. You're already firing. Well, that's a little earlier than I wanted. And you got the incendiary launcher, so you need to come a little closer. How about there? As you've got the air the assault, and you've got a pump shotgun, which I guess you can put next to there, and we'll see how this goes. Interestingly enough, they cannot see us from this distance, or they're not willing to walk this uh, walk that close. So, Tashi, how close do you need to be? You need to be what? That's about a thumb or so on my screen. So maybe up to looks about there. Through, how about your distance? Your distance is even worse. Maybe you can provide a little bit of defence for Tashi by going up a little bit closer than him. Um, can we force you onto a location? Oops, don't want to do that. Stay where you are. How about move up a little closer? Try again. Okay, how about right up to there? Then Fu can go to here. Hopefully you guys can run away and these guys can provide some backup defense. So this assault rifle, we'll be checking the range. Yep, so you could move up a block behind this slag and then we'll try again. Major break. Fu, this is not the place all the time. Your needs, friends, low expectations. Yeah, because you've got the higher break threshold, which doesn't help. You're going to fire. Awesome. Try again. Awesome. You're actually on fire. You're going to shoot. You still missed, but that's it. All fine. We can actually get some shots off. And why you are focusing on this Mega Scarab in... Is it Mega Spar Scarab? No, it's Mega Spider for this one. Awesome. So we also get the assault rifle guy, Tashi can be on it, and hopefully we'll be able to take them out. If you could actually hit. Okay, Tashi, I think it'd be your turn to walk back. Because this one, this Mega Scarab wants to attack us. So Fu, get one more shot off. And now I run away. Yep, without hitting our colonists, please. I hate to get any brain damage. And looks like you should be attacking the closest one, guys, now. We want to fire at this one. We also want to fire at that Mega Scribe. Still wants to attack Fu. Okay, Fu, keep running away. 
Okay. Stop. Go back a bit closer and get a few shots off. That's for attacking us. Awesome. It's actually down. Uh, out of curiosity, we cannot do anything with it. Nope. So Mega Spider, it cannot. we can't do anything with it. Just as I said before. Okay, Fu, get a bit closer. Oh, actually, we, we dealt with those two. Okay. That's nice. Uh, is there any of the guys we need to worry about? Just, what's that? Is that a... It's a, a Splenterpede? Splenterpede? Yeah. Okay, that's new. I'm not familiar with that one. So Mega Spider... Okay, those are the small guys. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, I will unrecruit Fu because Fu is in generally generally unhappy. And we'll take these three guys and we'll probably move them, say, up to here. See if we can get a few shots down the corridor. But no, the other ones can just burn out for the time being. See how this turns out. Don't suspect it's going to go too well. So, who's going to go on which order? Well, let's see, you've got the assault, you've got the launcher, so the launcher goes in front. So let's see, the makes it around here. Assault goes next, and then Y can go behind them all. Oops, you need to line up as well. And Y also there. Let's see how this turns out. Should be able to shoot right over the top of the two other guys. Just don't shoot them in the back. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Tashi, you're going to fire. Awesome, that's a bit of fire. It just walked right over it. Keep firing, keep firing. Try again. Yes, yeah, might not be well. Okay, time for you guys to run. And Tashi, of course, has a bionic part, so we should be able to run a little faster than these guys. Keep on running. Bit of tag teaming here. Not exactly how I want to play it, but see if we can get a couple more shots off at... Uh, is this the one they were firing at? No, it was the other one. Well, that's a shame. Still a few shots won't hurt. You're on fire now. Oh, a bit of t a little tense for me right now. But still the scorpion passing by. Oh, they don't have any... What's someone call it? Luciferium. Oh, wait. Bacilla the scorpion. We were all doing traders on the hill, was it? I cannot recall. And that's a new area. I thought I got rid of this. Oh, oh. Got rid of the menu now. The um, notification. Okay, that's that Splinterpede is dead. On to the next one. Hopefully we can get it before it walks in the cave. Awesome. One guy left and we've uh, successfully dealt with this bug infestation. This dangerous and menace. Menacing bug infestation. And boom, look, it's gone mad. Right, not the best time. Um, how am I going to keep an eye on it? That's one who's maddened. Everyone should be within the within the home area, which they are. Food's consuming a simple meal. Your mood is still bad. Part of me wants to recruit you and give you... Well, not recruit, but force you to smoke some weed. But I don't think I will for the time being. I think I'm going to recruit you, put you down here. Oh, actually, let's see if we can toggle the power as well. So toggle... Yeah, prioritize the cleaning it, and that's... Hopefully, depending on the locate, where this one decides to go, we might be able to encourage it to come towards us. I have to keep an eye on it. And what's happening here? Oh, you're a little close. Run away! Let's see. Why are you getting out of there? Awesome. Come on, keep on getting in line again. Take a few more shots. This, I guess, is always going to be one of the biggest issues with this area. Keep firing. Now, run away this way. Tashi, you need to run. Now. Keep running, keep running, keep running. You really want to attack us. Go away. Shoo. Shoo, bug, shoo. And slower terrain. That makes sense. You can... Yep. Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's the location. It doesn't want to come any further away from home. See, that, I think that's a bit of an issue with the AI. That it has a maximum distance that it will travel. So, the distance overrides um, its desire to attack us. Sort of. Get shot off. There we go. And it's dealt with. Awesome. Come down here and now we'll just have to deal with these hives. So actually I'm going to unrecruit those guys and we'll just use Tashi. Tashi has been cut in the torso. Are you going to bleed out? Nah, you'll be fine. But those two can go and we'll just keep firing an incendiary grenades down this hole. Yeah, that'll work. Um, do we want to remove the insect jelly? Because that will burn up in the fire. Maybe if I unforbid those two, uh, and those two, and then we'll unrecruit Tashi, also unforbid. 
just so we can get them to haul some of the items out. So yeah, haul the jelly. So we just move it out to somewhere around here. I'm gonna grab a few more blocks. Awesome, we actually grabbed it nearly all in one hit. So how much are you carrying? 75 or recruit, under recruit, and then haul the other one out. Then we can get you to start launching grenades down this fiery pit of doom. Well that's what its nickname will be in a second. And also just stand around here and start firing away. This should be interesting, because if you miss you're gonna hit the walls, and that's not gonna go well. Keep going and Well that could have gone better honestly. Try again. Please. Keep going and Jeez, your shot is terrible. What is your character like? A 13 skill and you can't aim straight. Well, you have set it on fire, so that is something. Just, you know, try and hit it again. Encourage it to burn a little faster. I love it how you, you've you made this fire, work, like, increase, but not the actual place we want to hit. Like, it's, it's more, almost tempting to move you up closer. But no, you have hit it now, so that'll keep them burning. Who's got a major break risk? Well, someone did. I don't know who. Oh well. And also, we've got a small forest fire. Not that's not that that's a big issue anymore, given that we have these walls. But I have seen fire sort of been. We have seen in the past in some of the previous episodes that fire tends to be a little bit quote unquote alive, and can hop to places. Whether or not it can hop over walls, I don't know. Anyhow, uh, I want to see if we can call in someone else. So Jabea. You are. You haven't smoked it yet, so let's call. See, these guys are just traders from memory. I'll just double check. Let's see, they are an outlander town. Okay. The Mongo are a tribe which shouldn't have anything useful for us. Bissila, the scorpion tribe. Yep. And um, purple fee. Uh, Purple Forest People and Craig's Crab, well, we know who they are. Minus 76. And minus 93. So these guys are who we could really try to become friends with, because they might actually have some of the Luciferium that we need. Uh, well, we'll have to disconnect. And how's Ed going, anyhow, with his needs? Yep, so his desire for Luciferium is going to increase sometime soon. Which is a shame, because we can't even buy any at the moment. So Tashi, have you finished firing at this one? You're hopeless. I don't know why I even bothered. Let's see, reproduces in one day, in 16 hours, one day. Also, how is it? Yeah, it's not damaged enough. I'm going to unrecruit you. You can do what you need to do. Uh, like, haul this. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Insect jelly is reserved for Mason. Mason is our dog, and Stoneface is our other dog. So both of these dogs are actually going to haul it in. Well, that's useful. I uh, unforbid those doors now so they can walk through. Not that the pathfinding has will automatically change until they get a new job, but that wasn't too bad. But we do need someone to finish it off. So who had the assault rifle again? So as as so as your job will be to come up here and we'll see if we can get get you to finish off the last two hives because the assault rifle should do a bit of damage you know it's at this point in time that someone who is well having a melee character would be awesome you know two scyther hands and a personal shield would work wonders but we sold those scyther the scyther blades not hands but scyther blades for the money not that that's a bad thing it's helped us build a lot of other things and research is not being done. Why? Foo, what's going on? You're sleeping. Well, I guess that's fair enough. You do have a need. You do. You are required to sleep from time to time. Interesting enough. So, yes, yeah, come on. Get over here and let's see if we can finish the hive off. Walk a little closer down and start firing. On the hive, which I guess I have to force you to. Jeez, that was shocking. Your skill isn't that bad at a 12. Yeah, you should be able to hit it. Maybe if I just go point blank. Try again. Okay, you're going to be at the fire, so maybe if I move you back one block. Now try and fire. You can't miss at that distance, can you? 
Doesn't look like it, I can't see your bullets going anywhere. But they seem to go directly into this. You're still missing. Oh no, wait, you're not. Yep, you are hitting it. Okay, that's awesome to say. We can get rid of these before they reproduce, and we do not have to worry about this infestation at all. Still, infestations are a little bit, I don't know, odd. They don't really... There's no indication that an infestation may occur in a certain location, it's just the roll of the dice, essentially. You know, someone rolled a one and teleported halfway across the map. <laughs> or isn't that how it goes normally? I don't know. I've never played uh, that those types of games, role-playing games or any, of any sort. Board games, no. I think you get the idea, but um, you have a really shocking aim. Out of curiosity, it's probably something to do with a weapon. Close, uh, close range assault rifle is on touch, on short. Yeah, well, what's short? Short could mean a couple of blocks away. Touch is essentially next uh, one to one, I think. So you'd be one block away. Since you have two blocks, or essentially one space, but then you're on a diagonal, which is square root of two. Yeah. Well, exactly not even that, because. Look, point being, he's going to hit it, we're going to get rid of it, it's going to be fine. We're going to be hunky dory, but I want to build something, because we haven't yet done that this episode. So I'll be using, what's that, marble blocks? I think most of our base is going to be marble by the end of it. So, marble blocks, and we're going to build a, another structure. Uh, but what are we going to put in it? Well, my thought is I have absolutely no idea. I just want to build something. Well, we do need battery storage, and I do want to put it in a location which is relatively safe. So my idea is to kind of have two battery banks in separate locations in case we get zapped or we get hit by, um, what some call it, this. So, uh, any sieges, that's what I'm looking for, siege. Now my thought is to put it up here, and I think that's what I will do. Do we want to put it right up against the wall? Oh, I guess we would have to leave a block. Yeah, I'm fine with that, and of course with that marshy area, that's... A bit of a nuisance. Well, let's say we pull it back. So it'll be 15 wide. It gives us a little area to work with. I think I just made that 16. Yep, I made that 16. Let's cancel one block. And then we'll continue with the structure. So we will... You know what? Maybe getting a research for vital monitors isn't important because we can't even make a bed right now. Medicine production is probably what I should be working on. But I think what I will be working on is... Wait a second. Do we have it? Oh, we already have the moisture pump. Okay, so it removes moisture from nearby terrain, converting marshes or shelly water into dry ground does not affect deep water. Well, of course I'm going to build that, I guess, here. Seems to be the best location for it. It covers the entire space. And get someone on to building that ASAP. So your health, you've got immunity, that's fine. Tashi, you are yet to be patched up. Are you in bed? You are. Ah. <sighs> Now, this is the point where I kind of wish they didn't sleep and they would treat someone oversleeping. Because now Tashi will run the risk of getting an infection or bleeding out. I don't think bleeding out because blood loss is at 11%. Bleed rate's at 14, which means he's already healing. I think that dropped already by 2, but no. We'll get on and treat Tashi and we'll be fine. So, how's Ayers going? Okay, Ayers is done. Cool. Can we get rid of this glow pod? Well, we can claim it and we can reinstall it, that's cool. Let's reinstall it somewhere. That'd be kind of nice to have an extra light somewhere. And I think we will put it where somewhere that people walk. And would be nice to have a light. Oh, I'm going to put it here. There we go. <laughs> Bit of an odd choice, but here's we unrecruit. Can we get you to work on this? It doesn't look like we can because everyone will be still restricted. Yep. And still can't. Oh wait, because you have to click on the other end, the end that you want to install it. You're not constructor. Okay, fair enough. Oh, someone get around to doing that eventually. Phew. Oh, and we have fire in our home zone finally, which is an exploded boom rat. Fair enough. Well, I think that's enough for this episode. Uh, we haven't done as much as I would have liked, but a few things have been planned, and we have dealt with the infestation relatively well. No one died. So that's always a bonus. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I have. And if you have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And as I've said in the past, and we'll say in the future. I'll see you around sometime.